In this step-by-step -step tutorial, you're going to learn how to create a professional YouTube video intro that also includes music and animated text. So I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily do it all using Canva. So check this out. I made this YouTube video intro in less than half an hour. I'll play this so you can see what it looks like. So there we go. So what this YouTube video intro includes are three pages. So social media tips, we've got different descriptions of what we offer as a you know YouTube creator or channel. We've got lead generation tips and also another, which is step-by-step -step tutorials. So if you've got kind of two or three benefits that you want to share in your video intro, this is the kind of video intro that you could create. And at the end is the logo of your brand, your company, of course, your personal brand as well, if you want to do that too. In this example, this is called 3000 Media, which I just came up with. The first thing you're going to need is a Canva account. Now signing up is for free. However, they do have a pro option where you can also download uh, elements that are pro for pro users only, but it's completely optional. And everything that you saw in that video intro example, I created using free elements only. The only thing that wasn't free is the music track that I used, but I'll explain more about music and adding tracks to your intro in this video too. So let's get started. The first thing you're going to wanna to do is to create a design. So click on create a design, choose from the top of the search bar. You just want to search for video. And from the options, you'll see video, just a general video option template. So 1920 by 1080 pixels. So that's the 16 by nine ratio that you wanna follow, especially with YouTube videos. So I'll click that. That'll open up a blank canvas like you see right here. So for this demo, I'm just going to replicate what you saw. So then you can see the steps that I went through and did to achieve what you saw. What I'm going to do first is add a background color or change the background color. So the first thing you can do is to just click the background and then click on background color. That should appear. Choose a color based on your brand colors. In this case, I'm just using this dark turquoise color, apply it. And that's all you need to do for the background. All right, the next thing is to add text. So I'll click on the text option here and then I can then add whatever text I want. You'll see some text templates that you can use. Feel free to use this and really depends how creative you want to be. But I'm just going to just add a heading and from here I'll change it to Lato, okay? So Lato, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but Let's search that and then later we'll um, show. And then I'll just change this to uh, white, just so it stands out. This is white right here. And next, I just want to add in my first kind of benefit or uh, the description of my YouTube channel. So I'll just go social media tips. So this is one of the things that a viewer will kind of expect from watching my videos. So social media tips. And again, this is all just uh, example only. Next, I wanna click on spacing and put some spacing between the letters like you see right now. That's the letter spacing right there. And then I can also increase the size by just clicking once and then increasing the size like so. And you could alternatively highlight everything and then changing the size from right here. So decrease, increase, but I think that looks pretty good there. I don't want it too big. And then using the guides, you can see the purple lines. That's the center right in the middle, but I'm just going to put it just below right there. So to make room for the animated element, which I'll add right now. So next step is to go to elements. And what I'm going to search for is social media. So you can search for whatever element you want in Canva. They do have thousands and thousands of elements that you can use right here. Now, the next step is to filter these elements by animated, since we want that animation effect, but it's completely up to you, but that this is how you can filter it and search for the one that you want. And this is the one that I use specifically. So right there, we are going to resize this obviously, since this is quite large and I'll just decrease the size a little more and then move it with my mouse right here. Now there's plenty of room at the bottom, so I'll just move the text again to the bottom. 
like so, just so it looks somewhat in the middle and you can adjust this later on anyway. But that looks pretty good. And once you've created your first page or first slide, you can start creating another one. Now at the bottom, you'll see add page. These all represent a new kind of slide in your video intro. And for each of these slides or pages, you can actually set a time of how long it stays on the screen. In this case, the def default is six seconds. We can change it to whatever we want, but we'll do the adjustments later on in terms of the timing. But right now, all I need to do is just duplicate since that's easy and we don't need to repeat the steps that we just did. So click on duplicate. And then from there, we move on to the next kind of benefit. So I'll put in here, lead generation uh, tips. And what I'm going to do is just search for a new element to represent lead generation. And I'll just put in uh, growth and see what comes up here. It's not what we want, so let's choose uh, increase instead. And this is the one that I used actually. So we'll click on that once. And now we just resize just like we did with the previous. And I'll delete this one that we had in the first page there. And then I'll then just move it across and use the guide again like so. So that is the second. So we've got the first right there, second. And let's make one more. So duplicate again. For this third page, what I'm going to add is step by step tutorials, all right? And then put in tutorials on another line there. And for this, I'll just type in video and search for a video element that we can add. So I'll just choose the white since that contrasts better on this turquoise color. So I'll just click that once. We've got it right there, resize it. And you kind of want to keep the same sort of size if we just go over it just to keep it somewhat consistent with the previous elements. Now I'll just delete the old one, add in this one right here to the center. And let's just check out everything and make, make sure that everything's aligned. Looks all pretty good. Now for this last and final page that I'll do, I'll duplicate this again. But instead of all this, what I'm going to add is my logo. So if you do have some sort of logo, this is where you can go ahead and just add it in. And what you can do is also upload your logo by going to uploads. And this is where you can upload your media, let's say a JPEG file or PNG file or whatever it is, whatever format it is that your logo is in. But I've actually got mine on Canva, so I'll just copy and paste it right here. But let's say you've already uploaded your logo. Let's say this is your logo right here, the PDF icon. All you need to do is just click once and then that'll add it to the actual uh, design. But I'll just delete that and add in my logo. Here's the logo that I created. Continuing on, once you've added everything and you're happy with all the pages, the next step is to animate the text and the background and you'll see exactly how to do it. So what we've done already is add an animated element onto each page. Now, this page specifically, you can actually animate. So if you click on the background, you can see this option called animate. Click that once and then you'll see these animation options by hovering over each of these effects or animation effects, you'll see how it looks like. So choose one, depending how you want it to look. We've got uh, block, fade, pan, rise, or tumble. The ones with the crown are for Canva Pro users only, but the one that I use is the rise option right here. So I'll click on rise and that's how it looks like. You can repeat the same steps for the other pages. So I'll go to page two now and click on the background click animate, click on rise like that. And then after that, let's go to page three, do that quickly again, click on the background, click animate, then rise. Now for this last one, which is our logo, we can add some type of other effect. Let's say we wanna use this block effect and that's the effect that I specifically used. It will have this kind of flash or uh, swipe on the actual text, so click that once and that's how it looks like. Now, before we go ahead and preview everything, what we need to do is fix up the timing of everything. Now, you will need to adjust this as well after you put in the music track. That's if you do want to add any music 
and it actually might be a better idea to add the music first and then adjust the timing. What you can also do is choose a free music track from Canva's music library. If you search for music right here, you'll see a lot of them show pro. Again, you need a pro account to use those. You can also filter it by free, uh, whether you want vocals or instrumentals as well. Click on apply filters. In terms of the rights of using these stock music tracks, you'll need to do your own due diligence in terms of whether you can actually use it and then whether you can up then upload it to YouTube without getting any copyright strikes. What I like to do is to purchase my own music tracks and some of the sites that I recommend is to go to Epidemic Sound. You've also got Premium Beat. Premium Beat has intro music uh, specifically, which is a good thing and you just need to pay a one-time license fee. That's the great thing about that one. We've also got music bed. So those are my choices if you do want to look for some music tracks or music background in general. Uh, with Epidemic Sound, you do get a free month uh, of using Epidemic Sound using the link in the description below. So if you do want to browse through that, have a listen to whatever tracks that attract you and what you like to use for your YouTube intro. To add a music track, all you need to do is to click one of the tracks, or again, if you are going to use your own music, which I recommend is to go to uploads and then upload your music track directly. Once you've uploaded it, go to audio, and that's where it'll uh, sit. I'm just going to choose the one that I used before, which is this one right here, wildcard, and that'll add it right there for you to then choose a segment of that music track. So this is where the adjusting comes in. So what I'm going to do first is to select the timing. I'll just click on this timer icon, change the number of seconds to 2.8 seconds. I think that's what I used before. So you can really fine tune the timing of each of these pages. So each individual page, you can adjust the timing. So 2.8 for that one, this one by default, does show six seconds, but I'll adjust it to 2.8 as well. Depending on how much text actually is on your page, that'll determine or uh, what's recommended, I guess, for how many seconds you should uh, put in. If it's something with just one word, you may want to just put in one second. Uh, I just noticed a little typo here, so I'll fix that right there <laughs> quickly. And let's move on to the next page. So again, 2.8 seconds, I'll save that. And for this one too, 2.8 seconds, done. And let's now, we can actually preview it or uh, change the music, the segment of the music to whatever we want, depending how we want it to work. So let's just play it. And you can select the segment by just kind of uh, hovering over and using your mouse to drag the area that you want. If you hold even more, it'll zoom in and magnify the track, the uh, track clip. So then you can choose very closely, you know, what you want. So we can see here that it kind of ends, which is what we want. And that's what I added right here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is just preview this. Play. This is what it looks like. We'll just let it play. So something like that, and that's pretty good already. In terms of the syncing, what I found with Canva is that it doesn't quite sync on the preview mode. So if you click on play, that's what I mean by the preview mode. It doesn't quite sync with the actual music track. But once you download the video, so click on download video, and that's obviously what you want anyway. You want the clip to then uh, export and put in import to your own uh, video editor to add to your uh, video the way you want your video intro added. Select the pages. Obviously, you want all the pages that you created. Click on download. That's now downloading. Okay, so here's the newly downloaded uh, YouTube video intro that we just created. Let's give this a play. Yeah, so it's not quite the way I want because the swipe kind of came in uh, quite early. But with the first one that I created, so you can see when I play the original uh, video intro that I created. So 
So there we go. That's what I mean when, with, in terms of the timing with the swipe. So really it's just a matter of adjusting the timing the way you want according to the music track as well. But that's completely optional if you don't want to be that accurate. And that's really all there is to it. Now I've got the file sitting on my folder here. And when I then create a new video or edit a new video, all I need to do is just import this or drag it over to my video editing software, add it to where I want, and then that'll be part of my video. So there you go, that's how to quickly and easily create a professional YouTube video intro. If this video was helpful, by all means, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel for more. Make sure to turn on notifications too, so you'll be the first to know of any new tutorials I post up here on this channel. In the meantime, do stick around to watch these next relevant videos.